morning, everybody. <clears throat> I'm Dharma, and this message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, North Node, Cross Watchers, anybody that was drawn to this message. What's going on? The link for the extended will be in the box below to Vimeo, or you can join us over on Members for all the fun stuff that we do over there, plus unlimited extendeds. And if you want a private reading right now, you can um, get at us on uh, betwixt.me. The links for everything you need to know is in the box below. Okay, so wow. Before we even get started, if you notice there, the Five of Cups uh, came out upright or face card or showing the face or whatever. It's showing its face first. And I think that's probably relevant that the Five of Cups, which talks about, I mean, Five of Pentacles, which talks about loss and left out in the cold. But there is this uh, flower that's bloomed and alive inside of this. She keeps it inside of herself because at the bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups. And I just saw one, one, ones. It's like in the 3D, she's out in the cold and she's left with just hope, keeping this thing alive inside herself. But in the 5D, it's totally alive and active and it's conflicting. It feels like what is happening in spirit is not happening in 3D and it's maddening. It's not fair. It's, it's confusing. It, it really produces a feeling of lack. The Empress, page of 10 of 1. It's like I told you so. I heard I told you so. I knew it. I knew it. It's exactly what it feels like that holding this five of pentacles place but trying to keep this flower alive was a burden ten of wands but then they reach out page of pentacles they whatever it doesn't have to be they whatever the thing is that you're holding on to it's like is it spiritually speaking this is a spirit and I mean a, hus a spirit husband spirit wife you guys are completely vibing together in the 5D. But then when you go out into the real world, it's five of pentacles. <coughs> oh yeah, somebody definitely reaches out, it's a text. It could be as early as tonight. But they, she, it feels like I, she's just sitting there. It's divine timing, I think that's the whole point. The fact that it's divine timing, even if she, she just knew. That's why this whole flower right there is still alive and completely bloomed. And even though the weather is wrong, the the cage is wrong, there's no, it looks like there's no nourishment. It's just inner hope or inner faith or something. And it does feel like I told you so. I knew that was going to happen. I knew they were going to roll back in the Emperor. So this is a, a perfect match. It's an Emperor and an Empress and, and she's just holding steadfast. I've been saying that a lot this week. I feel like this steadfast is because there's a magnet between the two of you. It's spiritual. There's, there's look at this. It's even like spirit is like trying to push you guys together to communicate, to talk to each other, to make some things happen. Okay. Reconciliation, love, balance, all of these things. Okay, so let's talk about, because the conversation is that it like, it's like the first however long they're standing there alone feeling alone vibing alone keeping the faith keeping trust in something that they it's almost like other people around them are like what are you doing standing outside in the cold why are you still standing there it's been seasons already something may have went down in the winter and then things bloomed in the spring and then it's like snowed again and it's like other people are saying, what are you doing? And 
she might not be saying anything. It's it's personal. It's private. It's a it's a self chosen burden. Ten of Wands. <clears throat> so um, no, those cards are scary. I wanna I wanna know about the conversation. I wanna know. I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. This is between an emperor and an empress. Now, what is it that they say? What is the, the, the conversation about? Ace of Cups. And notice how there is two people in this Ace of Cups. They're both bring, drinking from the same cup. And that's probably why it's a burden. And here it is again, this imagery with the cage, but it's like this bird comes to the cage. The door is wide open, but she keeps the cage on herself because she's waiting for this bird to come back. And two of wands is a choice, a passionate choice. But I don't want to. I don't want to hear the comments from you guys about how I wait for no man and he doesn't want me. Then blah 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 blah. I don't care. It's just energy that I'm reading. This imagery alone is where I'm getting that from. Looking away from everybody else, standing out in the cold, protecting this seed which nobody else can see that it's full bloomed. She might just hear what people say and then brush them off. But when they, the, the reaching out is due to Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. So this could be a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They might resonate with a bear. They, um, when this person comes in, they come in like a berserker. Like they just, they don't knock on the door and like wait for things. They just come in swinging. Ten of cups. And typically that brings happiness and joy. But this thing has been a burden. She's, she's probably frozen. She's been standing outside in, in the whatever for so long. What is it about the dream state or the, the 5D? It's like there's some, there might be a Viking reference or, you know, that bow, but it's like this new, this bunny, the bunnies represent new beginnings. They're a pirate and they're going to hold on to their, I think what it means is that because of all of the confirmation that they've been getting in spirit, they are personally choosing to hold on to this four of pentacles like a miser. They look at that. It's like this. It's a comet and they are. She's hanging on. To this star or whatever it is. So when they reach out, they come in like a berserker, just like bang through the door, I'm here. And they might walk right up to you and, and, and you guys get really close to each other really fast and snuggle right in. Somebody might have cats and the cats get in the bed or on the couches with you guys and ace of pentacles and it's like and all was well in the land again this one here is unfazed unrocked where were they tell me about the five of pentacles where were they why weren't they why would she stand there by herself they were a nine of rods they were a wounded warrior I don't know who they is maybe she pushed them away Maybe she knew it wasn't time yet, or maybe this, the conditions weren't right. Nine of, nine of Wands. She blocked herself from being treated like a Queen of Wands because she's an Empress. She did that on purpose. And maybe not in the nicest of fashions, but she meant it. And it was more like until I'm treated better or something like that, 
I'm gonna stand out here in the cold, but I know that this will eventually, maybe it's just, it, this doesn't even, you guys haven't even, this five of pentacles could be five days, five hours, five weeks. This doesn't feel like, this feels like this has been going on forever. But currently she's standing still, like the conditions are not right to plant this flower. So I'm gonna stand here and protect it until they see that I'm an empress. So, right there's your three of cups, which is the bouquet, which is the reconciliation energy, the chariot. It's like spirit isn't gonna let you guys get away anyways. You, but even with your backs turned, you're still being held in place by spirit, 5D, whatever. And this queen of, the queen of swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they could be seeking spiritual advice. Um, that's a heron, which is a healer. And they're both nine of rods. That card came out twice on both masculine and feminine side because I don't think this emperor likes being taught a lesson but he was not treating her. I'm saying him and her because of the Empress and the Emperor. It doesn't really matter what your sex is, it's energies. Long story short, she put herself outside and like just put an end to this all encompassing love because she was not, she was not being treated well. She wasn't. And it's like these two snakes, two people had to shed some skins. Both of them, they both come out as the white snake, justice and the devil, Libra and, Libra and Capricorn. So it's like, here's these two snakes and you could, you could uh, correlate the snakes with being human. They've been forced to walk the earth, crawl the earth, whatever, and they're slithering around trying to separate the spirits like, no, put them in a jar together, put them in their, what do they call that? The nice shirt where you, you put two siblings in a, in a, in the, the get along shirt. <laughs> you stick them both in it and they have to walk around and it's in order to, <clears throat> it's a, this is a heart and that's a feather and justice. It's like, put them both over here, bring them to the scales because they need to, they've made this too difficult. We need to, to bring temperance to this situation. Okay. So I get it, it's a lot of this is orchestrated by the 5D and it's like when they reach out, it is, it does, first thing that came out was Ace of Cups. So that's very clear that this is a lover of yours. Like there's actual real love there. Tell me more about the conversation and what kind of actions happen with that. They are uh, very clear cut. This emperor is also arrogant and they know that they, they are, it's coin toss. They are, they're like, this could go either way and they're being like a cat about it, kind of like zero Fs. Like, oh well, if she doesn't accept me back then she doesn't accept me back except He's fucking with a phoenix. When this one rises, she's gonna rise like the phoenix. And so they come forward kind of apathetic, but they are, submitting. They've been trying to delay it, block it off, whatever, but they, it's almost like they just can't anymore. So they come forward and say that. Is there like an invite or any kind of 
get together or anything like that. It's an adventure. They might have a boat. They might take you out on the water or there might be water around or you could just be talking about that. Within three to six months, someone here might be pregnant if you're able to get pregnant. And this emperor is just very, it's very, very apathetic, which, which is probably why her friends are like, why are you, why do you even care? They treat you like a queen of wands and she's like, they won't forever. Just leave me alone about it. It's, she's got Akashic knowledge. That's why she doesn't want to hear it from any of her friends. She's read the fine print. She knows what this is. So they do, they, they just kind of come back like out of nowhere, but she's not because you might dream about it first. It just, it doesn't feel like this has been a forever separation. This isn't like a long lost lover. You probably see them all the time, but you're both, she's looking down like until you're ready to treat me like an empress, I'm just going to stand here. And then you have the rings. It's a strong connection. So they take a risk. All right, let's go to the extended and see what happens on your guys' excursion. The link for that's in the box below the Vimeo, or you can join us on members. Till next time, bye-bye.